morning guys today is may 12th i don't know if you guys can see it may 12th what does it say sunday sunday may 12th it's kind of weird the way it's looking but yeah, it's may 12th oh my gosh it's really blurry so today is going to be the day that i flush because tomorrow starts my six day journey of fasting 20 hours off no f no food and then four hours of only eating fruit nothing else fruit and water and then that's going to be monday wednesday monday tuesday wednesday then wednesday thursday friday is going to be me eating drinking nothing but water so for six days i'm going to be fasting and it's going to be nothing but water and yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be nothing but water. So I'm doing this video all in one so you guys can see everything. So I'm going to head downstairs and jump on the scale because I have been compacted. When I say compacted, for some reason, every time I get into trying to eat right, eat healthy and exercise, I always get constipated. And it takes like a couple months for my thing to get, you know, my body to get back regular. Um, and, I, and I think it's too because I'm not eating fully healthy. So it's kind of confusing my body, which is making me constipated, which I hope to get a grasp of that soon. And the reason for this whole um, fast is to give me mental clarity, um, just to help me with some spiritual things. I'm trying to get my um, mind right and be able to focus on things that I really need to do that I may have been procrastinating about or anything like that. So this is what this is all about. Just not just to do it for weight loss or just to do it just because and also to help me. Um, I'm going to do more meditating in the mornings and to help me um, with getting this, this, this craving for sweets out of my mouth. So I'm starting with the fruit so that I can go on into the water because I don't want to jump right into the water and I'm only doing three days because I think that's best for my mental. If I feel like I can go longer, I will. Um, so yeah, three days is what I'm doing of each. Three for the fruit, 20 off, four eating, and then all day just water. Um, so let's go downstairs and weigh me, and then today I will be doing an Epsom salt flush. I would also do a video on that, showing you everything, and um, it'll probably be a separate video, but I'll, no, I'll put it in within this video as well. I'll put it within this video as well, but I'll probably do a separate just for purposes of people who are just looking for a way to have a laxative, a natural laxative. So let's head downstairs and weigh myself because my scale hasn't been moving, and I know that's because I haven't been using a bathroom, and that's not good, so I got to get this waist out of me so let's head downstairs and get this waste i mean and get this weight um logged down um before i start because tomorrow will be the beginning and um hopefully i'll flush all today and in, um into the night and then in the morning i will weigh myself to see what i am before i start the journey let's go guys guys i got my hubby in here helping me so i'm getting ready to step on the scale and oh, it's gonna be hard because you're right in the way that it's 275.6 Okay, I'm going to step on one more time Now see how y'all see that? I was about that when I weighed in The first 30 days of my Journey That just, just goes to show I'm compacted Nothing is moving, nothing is happening And it's frustrating me So I'm trying to change up and do something different Let me try it one more time Come on scale Okay, so we know it's correct. So that is my starting and I'll be back. All right, guys, so as you can see from my last weigh-in, which was my first 30 days of this journey, my check-in and my confessions was 277.6. And now if you look at today's weigh-in, that shows in two weeks, I only lost a little less than two pounds, which is not correct. So with that being said, that is why I'm doing the Epsom salt flush because I am compacted and constipated and you will see the results at the end of this video, but these are my measurements. Yes, this is very embarrassing, but I love this vintage army shirt. I truly love it. And I said, you know what? It is a better visual for weight loss to see something that is not always a scale. So you can see this shirt 
you can see my love handles you can see my gut you can see how it fits me and how the shirt looks like it is like ready to pop in the middle that is me sucking my stomach in and letting it go so we're going to see how this shirt fits at the end of six days will it change or will it stay the same is you might as well say 840 um sunday may 12th this is the epsom salt and this is the one that i'm talking about that is a multi-purpose salt the best for uh, laxatives and you will see that say it over on the back or down the, the front somewhere it says it. okay see it right here see that so it is recommended well how, how I've been recommended to take it is um, about four to six teaspoons in warm water and that's what I'm getting ready right now and they say about four ounces of water I like to keep the water as low as possible because that means it's more for you to drink if you keep it like more water is more to try to guzzle this stuff does not taste good i'm gonna be honest with you it really does not taste good so i'm going to put my water in here and heat it up just a little bit in the microwave because i want to use filtered water from my refrigerator so that is my four ounces of water let me heat it up in the microwave just a little bit so i put it in the microwave for like 23 seconds and so now I'm about to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Blech. This stuff is disgusting. I'm sorry, but when I tell you it works, it works. And I like to stir it until the water comes clear and it will turn clear. That's when you know it's fully dissolved. You will see it start to clear up. It will clear up. Now some people put lemon juice and I can say I can put a little bit of it just to give it a different taste. That, I'm telling you this. It doesn't taste like salt. You might think it tastes like salt, but it doesn't. I'm going to let it clear up first. I'm going to let it clear up and I'll be right back, y'all. So I'm not gonna wait too much longer. It's basically clearing up. I'm gonna add just a couple drips of lemon juice. That's it. And now, let me drink it. Oh, I'm about to drink this up. Excuse me, that work. That wouldn't have been good because I would have came back up. I'm about to drink this up with y'all. Y'all can help me. Oh, gosh, it's disgusting. I'll just try to see um, what the scale is looking like and probably just take whatever it is and go from there. Let's see. All right, guys. So here is the weigh in after I have been flushing throughout the night. And actually, I'm still flushing as we speak, but I had to get this video out. I have a client at 8 30 and I had to edit it and get it to you guys on time so you can see day one's weigh in and tomorrow morning will be the results of day one so you can see how the first day of just fruits and water went for me so stay tuned for that but i'm gonna step on once more and that was that's what it was it was 258 278 275.8 was what it was yesterday so yeah it went down almost a pound and a half overnight um and like i said i'm still flushing i wish i would have did the flush earlier but it is what it is this is where we are and um we shall go from there and i will see you guys later gators tomorrow in the next video